Big headline tonight, a major twist in one of the most high profile murder cases in Bay Area history. 20 years ago, Scott Peterson was convicted of murdering his wife, Lacey. Peterson is now 51 years old and he's still generating headlines. Today, the Los Angeles Innocence Project says Peterson may be innocent and it's looking into its, his conviction. The case created a media frenzy. Lacey was eight months pregnant when she went missing on Christmas Eve of 2002 from their Modesto home. Her body then washed up months later along the San Francisco Bay. Prosecutors say Peterson killed Lacey, then dumped her body near the Berkeley Mar Marina. In 2004, he was convicted of murdering Lacey and the couple's unborn child, Connor. Just we all want her back home. You know, she knows how much she's loved, how much she's missed. Police have said repeatedly over the past weeks that they have not ruled you out mm -hmm. as a suspect. Right. Have they told you why they haven't ruled you out as a suspect? Uh, my indications are that, um, you know, you, you can't rule someone out as a suspect until there's some resolution you know, to the case. Scott, have you taken a lie detector test? Again, that's part of the things they've asked me not to talk about, so... So you, you can't comment whether you've taken one. Would you, be will, would you be willing to take a lie detector test? That's pretty much the same question you just asked, and I can't comment on. Interesting back and forth there. This was the interview Scott Peterson did with our reporter, NBC's Jody Hernandez, before Lacey's body was found and then he, before he was arrested. It was the first sit-down interview that Scott Peterson did. He has always maintained his innocence. This week, the Innocence Project, which is a nonprofit, filed four new motions with San Mateo County Superior Court. It includes a motion for DNA testing, saying that new evidence could support Scott Peterson's claims that he is indeed innocent. The attorneys are focusing on three things here. Take a look. A burned-out van found near the Peterson home in Modesto around the time Lacey disappeared. Also, a burglary at the house across the street the day before Lacey went missing, along with some evidence found on the shore of the San Francisco Bay. Okay, let's get back to our coverage of Scott Peterson and perhaps he could be found innocent. Uh, the Innocence Project is taking up this case. Uh, we got our technical issues worked out. Dean Johnson, one of our legal analysts is with us. Uh, Dean, you've been around this case since the beginning. Um, is the Innocence Project well respected in the legal community? And are you surprised that they're taking on this case? Oh, yeah. The Innocence Project is very serious. Uh, following the O.J. The Simpson case, Barry Sheck founded the Innocence Project with the idea that they would use technology to maybe exonerate, you know, three or four people who were sitting on death row. Since that time, they have literally exonerated hundreds of innocent men and women, many of whom were sitting on death row, all of whom were facing very serious homicide-related charges. Okay, so what's the new evidence here? Both you and I, you a lot more, because you have your legal background, have scoured through this. Um, is it really new, and what stands out to you? Um, yeah, it's it's really new, but it actually corroborates things that we've been hearing ever since the trial. There's been this constant drip, drip, drip of evidence that supported that, that supports a theory that was only hinted at at the trial, namely that Lacey Peterson confronted burglars on the day she disappeared, was kidnapped by them, and ultimately murdered by them. Um, there are a number of eyewitnesses who have come forward who said that they saw Lacey Peterson hours after Scott Peterson left to go fishing. And they're very credible. But now we have possibly, uh, not yet, but possibly DNA evidence that would connect all of the dots going from the Medina burglary across the street from the Peterson house to the, the San Francisco Bay shore where Lacey Peterson's body was found. It's not, it hasn't been tested yet, but the, the Innocence Project seems to believe quite sincerely that they can connect these dots and create a storyline in which Scott Peterson is innocent. That, that is f fascinating what you're saying. Getting back to that DNA, was that technology or that evidence available in the court case 20 years ago? No, and, and that's the fascinating thing about DNA and the Innocence Project is that DNA has 
progressed so rapidly and that technology has become so much more powerful that with each development in the biotech area, we've been able to free more and more people who were sitting on death row facing life, you know, without possibility of parole or possibly even the death penalty. We should add, we have reached out to Lacey Peterson's family, have not uh, gotten a response, at least an official response. Dean, final question for you. What's next in this case? Legally now, what happens? Well, right now, the Innocence Project is in what we call the discovery phase. They are asking for the evidence to be given to them so it can be tested. So as exciting as this sounds, we probably shouldn't get too excited because the tests haven't yet been done. If, however, even one or two of those pieces of evidence pans out the way the Innocence Project says, this could be either a new trial or possibly game over in which Scott Peterson walks out of the, the prison a free man. Amazing that we're even having this discussion 20 years later. Dean Johnson, thanks for your time and thanks for your legal insight this evening. Hey, my pleasure, as always.